What is going on YouTube? Thank you for joining me. Today we're taking a look at this King of Games worthy Super Heavy Samurai deck. Now's the time. My ever faithful companion, Dark Magician! What's going on YouTube? I forgot to throw this in before. As you can see above me, free entry, weekly tournaments, cash prizes. Join the Discord, link in the description. We'll see you there. We just ended stream. I was playing with this Super Heavy Samurai deck, and I wanted to show it to you and explain to you some of the plays that I was making while we were on stream, and maybe you could learn from it and possibly build this deck. Here we go. One, Super Heavy Samurai Big Banky. Two, Samurai Wagons. Three, Soul Piercers. One, Soul Claw. Three, Soul Peace Makers, three Samurai Magnets, three Super Heavy Samurai Flutists, and three Trumpeters, and finally one Samurai Soul Horns. And in the extra deck, we have two Stealth Ninjas, one Samurai Destroyer, one Shoot Noji, two Swordmaster Mushashis, and one Beast. QB. What you want to do is you want to summon your Super Heavy Samurai in attack position. Its effect will activate and change it to defense position. Only when it's defense position. From there you can change it. You can use its effect to change it into attack position and search the deck. Or... One, you can add one Super Heavy Samurai Soul Monster. So that's the Soul Piercer, Soul Claw, Soul Peace Maker, or the Soul Horns. You can't add a Magnet or a Flautist or Flutist. You can only do the Soul Monster. The, basically, the ones that are equipped, that equip to your other monsters. What you'll do is you'll do that effect with the Wagon. And then you'll search for something like, say, the Peacemaker. This is the Peacemaker. And you'll attach the Peacemaker. You'll equip the Peacemaker like a spell to the wagon. You will use the Peacemaker's effect to tribute both of them and special summon a big banky from your deck. You could do something similar and summon the Magnet. The Magnet's effect will special summon the Samurai Wagon from your hand. And you can do that process all over again. You summon the Magnet, and then you can summon the Flutist, equip the Peacemaker to the Flutist, and then use the Peacemaker's effect, and summon your Big Banky from the deck. Now, you have the Flutist in the Graveyard, which will negate your opponent's effects that target any Super Heavy Samurai monster. So you want to have the, your Flutists in the Grave as your negates to protect you. You have three trumpeters. Those are your level two tuners. That's how you do your synchro summons. And finally, you have one Samurai Soul Horns. So the Soul Horns lets you attack twice, and the Soul Claw increases your defense and attack by 500 points and makes it so that you cannot be destroyed by battle. We also have the Soul Piercer, which makes any monster that is that it is equipped with do piercing damage. Your Samurai Magnet special summons monsters from your hand. The Flutist, you can tribute it and special summon uh, any monster from your hand, any Super Heavy Samurai monster from your hand. Samurai Wagon searches the deck, the Big Banky is your boss monster, the Trumpeter is your Synchro Summons as your tuner, and you can special summon it as long as you have no spell or traps in your graveyard. There's no spells or traps in this deck, so you're good. And I think that's pretty much gone over everything The in the extra in the main deck. Here is the extra deck, the 
stealth ninja can attack directly by decreasing its defense in half. The samurai destroyer is the way to defeat Bloom Diva and negates all effects during the battle phase. Super Heavy Samurai Ogre Shooting Doji, I just like saying the name, that will clear the back row of your opponent. Two Super Heavy Samurai Swordmaster Mushashis, a level 5 Synchro, very easy to make. You can do this, so you'll summon maybe your Magnet and that will also summon a Flutist. From there, you can also special summon your Super Heavy Samurai Trumpeter. And from th both of those monsters, you could either do a level 5 Synchro or a level 6 Synchro. I'm sorry, level 5 uh, level five or level 6 Synchro. So you can do the Shooting Doji or you could do a Mushashi. The Shooting Doji will clear the back row and the Mushashi will give you any, mon any machine type monster from your graveyard and add it to your hand. So you would also you would actually be able to uh, do the level five synchro, and then synchro again. So that's how you get to your level sevens by doing recycling your uh, trumpeter. The uh, samurai beast QB. I I didn't even use it once. It's not very useful. It gains attack points. That's it. I'm going to include some replays from the stream. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, share this video, let me know what deck you're playing. Also, free entry, weekly tournaments, cash prizes, join the Discord, link in the description. We'll see you there.
カードを超重武者に装備相手は装備モンスター以外を攻撃できない<笑>